to say how much of it might have survived in town. Eli Lakes are remaining that could compromise our work if it were discovered by the combine. We'll need to take a close look at it. Right, this is all very emotional and shit. Wait, where is it? There it is. This was like my only amusement during this time. Let's see if I can bounce it on his head. He's that fixated on Judith. Never have let him go. There was no stopping her. Yeah, it could probably easier to put on Kleiner's heat. There's something else here. It's the Borealis. Aura Borealis. Incredible. What? The Borealis? That'd make a good subtitle for this uh, let's play. Aura Borealis. Oh, look at me! <laughs> I'm Spider Freeman. What am I standing on right now? Oh. Bet you never saw this cutscene from this angle before, did you? Ah, but now that we've found it, we can use it against the combine. Did you use it? That thing has to be destroyed. But think of the advantage for humanity. We can't simply waste all that potential. Did Black Mesa taught you anything? There's no controlling that kind of power. He's gonna well, be yes. crazy. There's always a risk, Eli. But my goodness, we have coordinates, blueprints, hailing frequencies. Quite ingenious of Dr. Mossman to hide it all in the carrier way. Well, that means she's still alive up there. But it's a combine catcher. He'll tear out everything she knows. There'll be nothing left of her. But we don't know for sure. I won't that... take that chance. I'm going after Dad. her. No. Eli definitely plays the role of the crazy guy here. Their hands would be if they should get a hold of you. She may know the particulars of the Borealis, but you, you know everything about the resistance. Listen to Dr. Kleiner, Dad. Gordon and I are more than able to handle this. We'll get her back. Of course I fucking am. I can stick to was. <laughs> oh, fine. The code. Yes, Magnuson. It just needs a little bit longer. You're waiting for the <laughs> Go ahead. They'll soon be here to give it to you in person. I'll hurry along, Magnuson. I'll be back as soon as I finish. Dad, are you okay? Not a kid. Not a kid. Right, this is important. Check this out. I'll zoom in for you. Listen carefully. Dad, prepare for unforeseen consequences. What did you say? Dad. Okay. It's okay. Just, just lean into me. Let's get you off your feet. I feel like a spy camera here. Would you, would you mind getting me a cup of tea? There's a hot plate in the old staff room. I'll be right back. Gordon, keep an eye on him. We're, we're not going anywhere. Thank you. Very much. Uh, Freeman's not in the room. He's like Batman right now and sticking to the walls. Actually, that makes no sense. What I mean to say is he's ca you can't tell he's there. And Eli's laying all this on you right there. Oh my! You know who I'm talking about. I'll meet you, friend. The G Man. I think he's talking about the G Man. I really honestly couldn't tell you. I know that little about the fucking Half Life universe and story. I've never actually beaten the first Half Life. I've got it on Steam. I used to have it on PS2, got pretty far, but could never be arsed there. Uh, Beating it. Controlled like crap on the PS2, I ain't gonna lie. So it was seems like a PC game through and through. Gordon. There's so much I need to tell you. Between us we may finally Oh, here comes Alex! Want me to throw a batarang at her? Oh, here comes the tet. I definitely wanna throw a batarang at him. Preferably an exploding one. Oh, oh, excuse me if I'm interrupting tea time. I'll just step out until you've finished, if that's more convenient. It's all right, honey. 
No, it's not all right. Sodom. <laughs> Put him in that rocket and he's the portal. He loves it so much and shit. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Okay. So we're following the Magnuson. Our time in the shadows was fun. Freeman, striders are coming. A single one of those damn things could shoot down our rocket. We don't dare launch until all striders are destroyed. Now you've proved yourself capable, and the staff seem to respect you. Therefore, I'm putting defense of White Forest and this ingenious new weapon of mine in your hands. We call it the Magnuson device. Not my chosen label, you understand? <laughs> it seemed to please the personnel. Aye, that's because it's something so annoying and irritating and shit. I believe that's it. It's a sort of sticky bomb, although cleverer than that makes it sound. From your point of view, you merely pitch the device at the Strider's hull, then blow it up. I've struggled with a mechanism for launching the device, but... Well, your zero point energy field manipulator clears up that little problem. Now follow me. The gravity gun, gun basically. Don't be alarmed, Freeman. This Strider's days of impaling your friends are a thing of the past. I really don't need to go for this. I know exactly what I'm doing. You just gotta we'll thing it, bang, and shoot. You need through delivery ports like this one. For the safety of the base, these devices are deactivated. They cannot explode like those you will find in the That's right. At them. That's what you do. Ah, not too difficult at this range, is it? Gets a bit harder when it's moving about and firing at you, of course. Now, let's move on to a more challenging task. Uriah, send the target to the far end of the rails. Device, isn't it? I imagine if you miss a couple of times, he starts acting like a tit again. I'm done. No more practice for me. Your car is fueled and ready to go. Now every building in the valley has its own dispenser port, so you'll have ample supply of explosives. <laughs> look at look at Gordon's gun right now. He's kind of like, mm, should I shoot him or shouldn't I? I'm relying I? on you not to squander my trust. Or my magnesins. Oh, and Freeman. Oh, I listen here. Off, I might just forgive you for that debacle at Black Mesa. You know the one I mean, involving a certain microwave casserole. <laughs> okay, that that's apparently right a reference to the um, original Half Life, because during that game you could. Oh, look, there's a rocket launcher. During that game, there was like um, you could come across this microwave, and if you interacted with it. Uh, the casserole and it would like explode, and apparently that was Dr. Magnuson, so yeah. Hey, it's funny! Okay, so as I said, Take this right here, this is pretty much the last boss of the game. I added a rack for Magnuson devices back here. That's very useful, actually. <laughs> I tweaked your onboard radar so the combines show up red on the dashboard unit now. Plus, it'll send a homing signal to your HEV suit in case you get separated from your car. No need to thank me. Now check this map. We're right here at the south end of the valley. The rest of the gang's up north by the old sawmill here. Head on up there, and they'll fill you in on the battle plan. I'll be staying here to watch the field and send status updates. Good luck out there. Let me in my car. Right, I never look forward to doing this bit. Not that it's not fun, it's just... I don't know what it is about the Half-Life games, you know, they're all, like, challenging. You don't really want to think about doing them, because they're pretty, like, tough and all that, but... At the same time, they're always so well designed, and I don't know, it's weird. Anyway, we got to go up to the northern end of the valley. As you can see, the radar's telling us where yeah, the things are and shit.
Right, all you're gonna be fighting here are hunters and striders. And thankfully, the game saves every time that you, uh, you know, you come across a strider. You kill one, rather. Right, there is pretty much going to be no commentary here, okay? I am going to have to concentrate like fuck. Recon indicates they're being escorted by packs of hunters. Now, what I want you to do... Attention! Uh -oh. North perimeter breach. All right, people, this is it. We have a strider approaching from the crane. Defensive position, go! There it is. Oh, oh boy, here we go. we go again. Everyone ready? We need to stop him here. Remember, keep him distracted while Freeman takes him down. What? It fell off him. Fuck this. Okay, the best strategy when dealing with these things, right? You see the hunters around them? Knock them down first with the car. Not like that, obviously. Like that, rather. Okay, and that's the game saved. Okay, that that building is pretty much gonna die right here unless you're extremely quick. Which I wasn't. Fuck. See, look, now it's completely dead, and I can't get Magnuson devices from it anymore. So we're gonna have to fall back a bit. All right, it's in here. We'll keep the outposts stocked with help. I hate doing that though, because every time you walk in here, you've just got a wee bit of health missing, and it's like you pick up valuable health ups, and it's annoying. Beautiful. Come here, yeah. Big Danny long legged beauty. Keep an eye out. It looks like hunters are traveling with the striders. They're working in packs. See, I did it again. <laughs> I don't want to pick those uh, that health up. You really, really don't need it. Okay. Now, I believe there's um, a dozen of them. I believe there's a dozen of them. Uh, why don't we count them here, shall we? Right, here's the third one coming up here. I'm on my way. I've lost count already. I think this is four. I don't care. Why don't you count and tell me? 